Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Godzilla 2014 Destruction City playset. Now, this playset comes from the 2014 film Godzilla 2014, which I have talked about on the channel before, but if you want to know my thoughts on the movie, boring. Uh, Godzilla himself didn't get a lot of screen time, he only got like 10 minutes. He wasn't really in the movie much, it felt like we focused more on the Mudos than anything, which was... You know, like, I don't hate the Mudos, I don't love them either, but, you know, I don't hate the Mudos, and I feel like it would have been nicer if, you know, Godzilla had a little bit of screen time, but that's just me. Um, the human characters, um, besides Sarazawa, I didn't really like a lot of the human characters. Um, the guy who was, like, trying to reunite, uh, reunite with his wife... You know, I didn't really care too much for that subplot. Walter White was actually really good in that movie. Um, I actually uh, forgot about him until just now, but Walter White was great, but unfortunately, he kind of died very early in the movie, so we're left with the more uninteresting characters. So, yeah. But, yeah, no, anyway, with all that out of the way, let's just get into this. So, actually, before we take a look at the set itself, I kind of want to talk about the Godzilla 2014 toy line. And my thoughts on it. So, the Godzilla 2014 toy line, you know, I'm, you know, just talking about all the stuff that was made by Bandai. So, I'm not really going to talk about the Bandai Creations figure. I'm not going to talk about the Bandai Movie Monster Series figures. You know, I'm not going to talk about, you know, the NECA stuff or any of that. I'm going to talk about the main line that was sold at Toys R Us. So, yeah. So, these weren't exclusive to Toys R Us. Um, you could also find these figures in comic book stores, but these were mostly in Toys R Us's. Targets never really held them, and, you know, Walmart didn't really hold anything either, so these were just mainly at uh, Toys R Us's. You know, this was actually, like, four years before they closed down, but, yeah. But, well, actually, really quick, um, apparently uh, Toys R Us is going to reopen soon, I guess. So, that's cool, but... Yeah, no, um, the toy line itself, I thought, at the time, very disappointing. Because, you know, this set is actually probably one of the best things to come out of the toy line. That and the two-foot-tall uh, Godzilla figure, I don't have it, but it actually looks nice. And I say that because, basically, there are other figures. There was a Godzilla figure where there was, like, a lever in the tail. And you just, like, move that around, and it just, like, looked like Godzilla was having a seizure. And then there was one where Godzilla had, like, the same lever in his stomach. And you move that around, and it just, like, moved his tail. Truth be told, a lot of the toys for that movie were not great. And this was good, and the smaller two-packs were good as well. Uh, or, not really smaller two-packs, but there was, like, a smaller pack. There was, like, a male Mudo that came with the building in a helicopter, and there was, you know... Godzilla again, but he came with like a jet in another building. I kind of regret getting those. I would have liked those mainly for the buildings, but yeah, no. Um, I kind of regret that, like not getting those, but I do have this, and this is perfectly fine as well, so yeah. But I will at least say that it would have been nice if we got something like this for the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters toy line by Jack Specific, you know? Yeah, the six inch figures came with like a building and a vehicle. But it would have been nice if we got a little bit more. Maybe with the three inch figures, we could have gotten like a bigger set where there are like a couple pieces to a buildings and like let's say, so let's say there was a Godzilla and King Ghidorah two pack. It came with like two buildings that could like you know be destroyed like this and maybe something else like um like the Boston baseball stadium like in the movie or if you wanted to have like Rodan, um you could have like some buildings and you could have kind of like um. Actually, no, you could kind of have, like, um, like, a Spanish, like, um, like the Spanish city where, like, uh, New Mexico where Rodan, like, emerges from the volcano. Or with Mothra, have, like, an Aztec theme where you don't really have buildings, but you have, like, rocks. I feel like that would have been really cool, but unfortunately we just got the two monsters and a cardboard, you know, little thing. So, yeah. It would have been nice if we'd gotten something like that for Godzilla King of the Monsters, but... The figures themselves for King of the Monsters weren't awful considering the price, but I f like not at a collector standpoint, but I feel like at a kid standpoint too. Um, kids, I feel like deserve something better than what we got. So 
yeah. But anyway, with that little bit of a tangent out of the way, let's take a look at this. But before we take a look at the monsters themselves, let's take a quick look at the vehicles that come in the set. So first of all, we got two helicopters that aren't great. They're just solid black pieces, uh, no paint, so yeah. Articulation, the propellers move, and that's pretty much it. It's all you need, but again, that's, you know, pretty much it. Uh, the sculpting's alright, however, I will say that the uh, um, stutters, the propellers, are a little bit too thick. But other than that, the sculpting here is nice. And the detailing on these figures, well, there's some nice detailing on the blades on top right here, and even in the cockpit, but the rest of the detailing here is kind of, eh. So, yeah, it's pretty much it for the helicopters. I'm just going to put them right here. We do get two jets, but I lost one, so I only have one left. And the jets, they're comparable to the helicopter. Again, just a solid black piece. Um, no paint or anything like that, just solid black. Uh, no articulation. The sculpting looks nice. Um, nothing crazy. A little bland, but they look nice. And, um, you know, the detailing. You do have some paneling on top right here. And the cockpit looks okay as well. But, yeah, not a lot of detailing. So, yeah. And the battleship that we get in this set is actually very nice. Um, no paint, no articulation. The sculpt is nice, and the detailing actually looks very nice here. So, yeah. Again, not going to go into too much detail there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now we'll take a look at the buildings. And these buildings, they're similar to the Crumble Zone buildings, but except there's no peg, so you can't really plug anything in. Because in that set, they're like little pegs where like, these could just sit there and they were like secure. These just sit there and like one like little shake would just kind of like make the whole thing crumble, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, uh, again, there's no pain. These are just uh, solid gray pieces. So yeah, I don't know if you'd want to count this as articulation, but um, these do come apart. So that is an option. Uh, the sculpting looks very nice. Um, there was a building in the Crumble Zone where it just looked like a bunch of cities crammed together, and I like that. And we do get that again here. We have a couple buildings here that are crammed together, and it almost looks like a little city. So, I do like that as well. So, yeah, the sculpting looks nice. Um, the detailing... For the taller buildings, they don't look great. All the windows look a little boring to me, but everything at the bottom here actually do look very nice. So, yeah. Anyway. That is it for that building. So I'm going to put that over there for now. Now for this building. And this building looks nicer, but in terms of like trying to like put it together, it's kind of a pain. Because the parts are a lot thinner. And again, nothing really pegs in. So one little like, you know, little shakes like that will cause everything to fall over. So, yeah. But just like with the other building, there's no paint. These are just solid gray pieces. So we're just going to skip that right there. And we're just going to get right into the articulation. Again, I don't know if you'd want to count this, but these pieces do come apart. So, yeah. Uh, the sculpting looks very nice. Slightly better than the other building. This building right here doesn't look great, but I do think that the rest of the buildings here look pretty good. So, yeah, the sculpting is nice. Uh, the detailing, again, looks nice. Um, the detailing at the bottom here looks very nice, and all the detailing on this building looks great, too. And even on this building... Um, just this building right here, everything just looks kind of, let me adjust this a little, everything looks kind of, eh, so, yeah. And that's pretty much it for that building. Now we do get the Golden Gate Bridge, but for some reason they made it blue, instead of like the orangish reddish color like it is in real life, so, I don't really get that, but whatever. Um, no paint, these are just solid blue pieces, so, yeah, nothing too crazy to point out. Um, the articulation, so, yeah, the sculpt, um, it looks nice, it looks a lot like the Golden Gate Bridge, so, yeah, it does look nice, but, yeah, um, nothing too crazy, it just looks, you know, it's just the Golden Gate Bridge, so, yeah, and the detailing here looks nice, um, the side of the bridge looks very nice, all of the detailing here looks good, but in front, that looks kind of bland, so, yeah. That's pretty much it for the buildings. 
Now we'll take a look at the monsters, and first we'll take a look at Mudo. And Mudo in this set, not really my favorite. Not awful, but definitely not my favorite. And Mudo is a monster. Honestly, I don't really care for her too much. Um, I get a lot of people like Mudo, but I personally don't. And people really want an SH Monster Arts Mudo. That would look nice, but again, I don't really care. Mudo to me is just... Eh. So, yeah. And something really quick that I just kind of want to get off my chest. So, minor spoilers here. In Godzilla 2014, it stated that the Mudos were an ancient foe to Godzilla. Which sounds cool, and, you know, fine enough. But... The Mudos do not look like they belong on this earth. They look like aliens. And the movie kind of makes them out to be like, you know, they've been here, you know, since before the dinosaurs. Don't really get that, but honestly, you know, it's whatever. So, yeah. But anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get into this. So, the painting on this figure, there's not a lot, but the painting that's there looks nice. So, the forearms here are painted a reddish color. And we do get a red streak going down the center of the head, which looks nice, and the rest of the body is like a very dark shade of brown, almost black, so yeah. Again, not a lot of paint, but it still looks nice, so the painting on this figure gets pass. Anyway, now we'll take a look at the articulation, and there's not a lot of articulation on this figure, which I could have forgiven. The only bit of articulation is right here at the shoulders. However, I will say this, they're handled poorly. like. Usually joints are rounded so they could like move fluently unless they're ratchet joints, but it's just a square No, it's like rectangular so you can't really move out of that So yeah, you could kind of move it like so but you do kind of stress the plastic here So I definitely would not recommend doing that but yeah, no again, I could have forgiven the lack of articulation, but considering how it was handled yeah, that's not really a good choice in design, so the articulation does not get a pass. Anyway, now I'll take a look at the sculpting, and the sculpting on this figure is, well, it's not crazy. Um, it's just the female Mudo from Godzilla 2014. Not a lot to talk about in terms of sculpt, so it looks alright. It gets a pass. Anyway, now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing on this figure isn't great. So, yeah. Granted, the Mudo itself was kind of a smoother creature, so there's not going to be a lot of detailing, but there's still something about the detailing here that just feels kind of weak to me. So anyway, the head is detailed somewhat nicely. We do get some creases and whatnot, which looks alright. And the front of the body, the detailing here actually looks not bad. And we do have some minor detailing on the legs right here. The legs here have some detailing that actually look nice. All of the cracks going down actually look very nice. And the detailing here looks very nice as well. And that's pretty much it for the detailing on this figure. Not a lot, but the Mudo itself wasn't really, you know, that rough or scaly or anything like that in the movie. It was mostly smooth, so that's fine. So the detail on this figure, not great, but not bad either. So I'd say it gets a pass. So that's pretty much it for the Mudo. Now, for Godzilla himself. And this is actually a very nice Godzilla figure. I actually really like this thing, so... Yeah. Anyway, first we'll take a look at the painting. And the painting on this figure is very nice. Uh, of course, most of the body is the traditional charcoal black. Like, as you see on almost every other Godzilla. There were some where he was a brighter shade of gray or even green, but... Yeah, no. Um, the charcoal black here looks very nice. The eyes are painted yellow, and the teeth are painted white. The teeth look very sloppy. Not a big fan of how they look, but yeah, they're still there. And the underside of the body is painted a brownish color, and that continues all the way to the end of the tail. And it's kind of funny how a smaller figure can do this, but the bigger Bandai Movie Monster Series figure can't do this, where it starts off brown right here, but then right in the middle of the tail it just ends. Like, I don't get that. I really don't get that, but that's just me. So, yeah. So the painting on this figure, not bad. Uh, I do feel like some spots were a little not great, 
but for the most part, the painting here does look very nice, so the painting on this figure gets a pass. Anyway, now I'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure, there's not a lot, but if you look here, the joint is actually circular, so that's already off to a great start and way better than Mudo, so yeah, but the arms can move up and down, the legs can kick that high, but they do kind of pop off, and they can go backwards, well, not much at all, without it popping, so yeah. And that's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. Not a lot, but considering that everything's circular here, it look, it's nice. And everything moves, you know, pretty nicely. Unlike with the Mudo, so... Yeah, the articulation here is good. It gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt. And the sculpting on this figure looks very nice. This actually looks a lot like how he did in 2014. Maybe some things might be slightly off, but for the most part, the sculpting here does look nice. I guess the only real nitpick I have is that the dorsal plates to me feel a little bit too thick. But I guess that's to kind of make it kid-friendly, so yeah, I can honestly accept that, so yeah. And that's pretty much it for the sculpting on this figure. Pretty good. The sculpting here gets a pass. Anyway, now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing... Again, looks good. Actually, uh, the detail on this figure looks very nice. I really like how this figure looks. So, going to the head, if my camera can focus, we do have some creasing in the face, which looks very nice. And we do have some scaling throughout the body, which looks incredible. Everything here looks very nicely defined, and I really like how this looks. We have some nice scaling in the arms right here, and even in the fingers, they look alright as well. Going to the leg here, we almost, I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of, um, something like, uh, some type of crocodilian, but, yeah, which looks very nice, uh, very aquatic, this Godzilla looks, and, actually, really quick, um, there's something about the 2014 Godzilla that looks very aquatic, and more so aquatic than the previous Godzillas we've gotten in the past, but, yeah, no, um, I really like that, it honestly fits Godzilla very well, but, yeah, no, uh, anyway, going back, the detailing on the leg looks very nice. Of the scaling and of the creasing, looks very nice. We do have kind of a seam line here, but honestly, that's perfectly fine. And the feet. Actually, really quick. I just want to show... Oh. I don't know why I was surprised he didn't stand, but whatever. Um, yeah, no, the feet are actually sculpted very similar to the 2019 feet, because for an example... Just because it's with me. Um, the uh, Godzilla 2014, his toes are like close together like so, but in the 2019 movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters, um, the toes are spread apart, which is what's going on here. And I just think that's kind of funny, but yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for that. The detailing on the tail looks very nice as well. All of the scaling and all of the creases look very nice. Everything here is very nicely defined. And on the front of the body, we have some nice detailing here. A very nice scaling and whatnot. And everything here looks very nice. And even the tail looks good as well. Everything, all the creases and whatnot look very nicely defined. And again, I like that. And that is pretty much it for Godzilla. And that's pretty much it for the set as a whole. So, at the end of the day, should you get this? Well, this set isn't as good as the Crumble Zone set. That set is really nice. But I feel like uh, this is still a nice set to have, especially because not a lot of Godzilla figures nowadays come with buildings. So I feel like this would be, you know, good. You know, so if you like uh, creating dioramas or you need to take pictures or whatever, then this set is for you because, again, the buildings, um, they're not great and they're not the highest of quality, but they still look nice. And honestly, these are two of the buildings that you see in the thumbnails of my other Godzilla videos. So, yeah. So, this is a nice set. Uh, the two buildings here are nice. Uh, Godzilla's nice. The vehicles, the bridge, and the Mudo, I could honestly live without, but the rest of the set is very nice. So, get it for the buildings and Godzilla. The rest of the set is just kind of, eh. Now, in terms of pricing, when this came out, this was... I think it was either $20 or $30, but I remember... Yeah... Um, this wasn't too expensive. I went on eBay, and I looked at the listings for these. And I actually thought about getting the smaller sets that came out in 2014, because I 
you know, more the more buildings the better. And the price for this set are actually very high. Um, I've seen prices like 120, 150, and I've even seen almost 300 dollars, which is honestly kind of insane to me. Um, is it worth that kind of money? Absolutely not. But if you can get the set for a very cheap price, then I say definitely go for it. And even the smaller, like, uh, single pack figures, you know, like the male Mudo and the singular Godzilla, even they were like 60 to 80 bucks, which very expensive. So, yeah. At the end of the day, this isn't a bad set by any means. This is a very nice set, and I feel like we should have gotten something similar to this for the Godzilla King of the Monsters toy line. Uh, this set isn't perfect, I will say that, but it's still a nice set nonetheless. Uh, the two buildings look great, Godzilla looks great. Everything else is kind of meh, but for the most part, uh, this set is very nice, but I wouldn't pay 300 for this. In fact, I'm actually kind of glad I got it when I did, because... Yeah, I think I actually got this on uh, Toy Wiz, which is a website. I got it at Toy Wiz for like 30 bucks, but yeah. Then again, I could be slightly off. Um, I was like, I was like 13 when 2014 came out, so yeah. So if you can find this set for a good price, definitely go for it because it has good buildings and you know Godzilla himself is very nice. But yeah, again, I hate to sound like a broken record, but the rest of the set is just kind of. Eh, but if you want to know how big this set is, here it all is with Dr. Billy Grant. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.